Okay, I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, are you able to see now? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, yes. Pegla 135, English in daily life. Though some of the parts we have done earlier, but uh, as it is a recorded class, so uh, we'll do it again. Okay. So, Begla 135, block 1, English in daily life. I hope you have uh, the, this document. Have you? Do you have this yes, document with you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you English talking about blocks, ma'am? Uh, yeah, blocks. Yeah, ma'am. We are having. Okay. Okay, then uh, first one is greetings and goodbye. Uh, as we have done it earlier, this is unit one. Block one, unit one, greetings and uh, goodbye. Okay, the main objective. Let us uh, know about the main objective. English in daily life. You, we use English in our daily life. And... Uh, it is one of the important language as well as, uh, you know, that uh, we can see uh, say that uh, starting and ending conversation is important. So let us know what, how to start and uh, how to end a conversation. Uh, I request participants, please uh, mute yourself. Uh, mute kar aap whenever I'll ask you a question. आप उस टाइम पे आप अपने आप को अनम्यूट कर सकते हैं ये तो आपको पता नहीं चल रहा है आपने ना अपने आप को म्यूट नहीं किया हुआ है सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू काइंडली म्यूट योरसेल्फ आप म्यूट कर लीजिए अपने आप को because otherwise it becomes difficult. I have to hard mute. Okay, then let me uh, first mute you all. Okay, so let us do how, how to introduce yourself, okay, starting and ending conversation. So the first rule or the, there are some kinds of etiquettes. The first rule is always introduce a young person to an older one. For example, Miss uh, Varma, may I introduce my friend Nita Kumar? It means the one who is younger should be introduced to an elder one. Matlab, jo aap se bade hain, aapko unhe choto se introduce karana hota hai, na ki choto ko kaho, chalo aajo, uh, tumhe uh, mami se milwata hu or like that. Instead of that, you should uh, uh, ask your father or the anyone in the business communication you can ask, uh, the elder one you have to introduce them, okay? Among grown-ups, a man is generally introduced to a, a woman. For example, uh, Mrs. Varma, um, uh, may I introduce Mr. Kumar, okay? So, grown-ups, a man is generally introduced to a uh, woman. When you are with one friend and meet another, for example, uh, you uh, the, the peer group definitely, they will all be of the same age, but you must immediately introduce them if they do not already know each other. So students uh, keep this thing in mind that uh, uh, whenever, uh, for example, you are two friends or three friends and someone uh, joins you, okay? Uh, one more friend joins you, then uh, you should, 
you should uh, introduce the other one immediately otherwise it will become uh, difficult for you uh, uh, to behave in a group because if you don't know each other then it will be difficult for you to behave uh, or talk with each other okay then we have uh, done that there are some table manners table manners what are table manners means how we should eat uh, on a table and what cutleries uh, we should use so uh, though different countries have different polite ways to use the knife fork and spoon and any one of the ways is all right only the fork or spoon may be used to carry food to the mouth so you can even see uh, here uh, uh, spoons like uh, uh, this is teaspoon tablespoon and then fork is there knife is there uh, two more spoons are there so always keep this thing in mind that use uh, uh, only the fork or spoon okay this one the fork or the spoon it should be carry uh, to take food into your mouth mouth rest of the things you can use to cut or uh, uh, take into your spoon okay and the one on the outside is always the one to use uh, next a napkin should be laid in the lap and never tuck into any part of the clothing usually we tuck the napkin here but uh, it is not good we should always keep uh, it uh, on our lap it is considered impolite to learn on the table uh, to lean on the table with your elbows like uh, uh, we we keep our elbows like this and uh, nowadays we to covid ka time hai hame pata hai ki everything should be noted john uh, the uh, the we, we what we do uh, sometimes we touch our hair sometimes we touch our face uh, or something like that while eating food we should not do that our body is uh, uh, not uh, uh, always consider your body as noted john and uh, uh, the next rule is one bite of food should be cut and eaten before another is cut and these are the main rules of table manners but there are many, there are many more okay uh, for example next is gift gift should not be too expensive or too personal bahut personal gifts gifts up किसी को मत दीजिए जब तक कि वो आपके बहुत अच्छे नोन नहीं है फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्लोथिंग बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल दे दे लाइक टू वियर क्लोथ ऑफ देयर ओन चॉइस और सो यू शुड द बेस्ट गिफ्ट इज फ्लावर्स एंड चॉकलेट्स फ्लावर्स एंड चॉकलेट्स आर द प्रॉपर गिफ्ट फ्रॉम बॉयज टू गर्ल्स यू कैन गिव इट टू एनी वन then acknowledgement is important uh, for example you have been uh, as a guest to someone's house aap kisi ghar as a guest jaate hain to before leaving any house in which you are a guest you must find your host and hostess and thank them matlab jisne party organize ki hai jo uske main organizers hain do meet them do say goodbye to them okay if you have spent the night with them you should write a letter within a few days at most and thank them or aajkal to jaise letter ka itna uh, time nahi hai so you can uh, write an email and uh, you can write uh, uh, a whatsapp message also so a thank you note uh, is the key a thank you note must be sent prop promptly for any gift and it is polite to telephone the next day when you have uh, uh when you have to leave the room okay so i hope this is clear to you anything you want to ask in this anything you want to ask uh, in table manners or how to thank someone ma'am basically how questions come in exam um i think there will be paragraphs and you have to answer from them okay ma'am okay and uh, uh, then uh, you can also uh, the like check your progress say whether the following statements are true or false it may come in true or false form also okay uh, this is the paragraph okay you have to uh, read the paragraph and then you have to answer and mostly i have seen that comprehension passages come okay for uh, okay then uh, let us uh, read this passage it is quite interesting bahut interesting passage hai and most of the uh, rules jo hai wo isme clear ho jayenge okay 
curtsy to la ladies for uh, 50 years ago it was not polite for a man to remain seated when a woman was standing okay matlab aisa mana jata tha ki agar uh, woman jo hai wo uh, khadi hai to a man should not sit unless the woman asked him to jab tak ki woman nahi bolti but a woman entered a room every man in the room uh, immediately stood, uh, stood up and remained standing until she sat down or asked him to sit down a man normally test a woman go before him through a uh, doorway or upstairs uh, or, uh, or downstairs and he would not go into a car until she was in it and the door on her side was closed ki chote chote manners hote the ki man jo hai wo uh, woman ka door kholenge jab tak wo baith nahi jati wo band nahi karenge but nowadays these rules are not no, uh, not followed except on very formal occasions and mostly in army they fo uh, follow it with women joining the work for force in large groups kyunki why it has happened because now uh, women are joining more workforce and there are large number if they will follow uh, such kinds of rules so it will be difficult uh, to manage of uh, co-workers hain so that's why there is no difference in man and woman now today the relationship between the sexes is much more democratic and less formal yet everyone appreciates a young man giving his seat to woman in a bus it is just out of courtesy that they do it okay so uh, now you can check your progress uh, rules of etiquette are all silly uh, this was actually we have not done this was uh, in another uh, paragraph yes uh, rules of uh, etiquette are not all rules are not silly so it will remain false a young person should be introduced to an older person this we have done yes this is true it is uh, rude to send a friend away from the door without introducing him means you should always introduce your friend to your family next it is polite to rest your elbows on the table and eat rapidly in big mouthfuls no we should never do this so it is false expensive clothing can be gifted to new friends can be given to new friends no again it is not okay to uh, give clothing to any uh, friend who is not very close to you uh, because hmm, uh, clothing is quite a personal gift to so personal gifts aapko nahi dene chahiye best gift is uh, to gift flowers and chocolates okay this is a uh, listening comprehension we don't have a, a listening cd over here so we'll just do the grammar portion okay here are uh, some uh, samples here are some uh, more samples the unit 1 it will be having a very interesting topic which we will do through uh, powerpoint presentation samples of greeting starting a conversation involves making people feel relaxed and comfortable dekhi kisi bhi conversation ka jo golden rule hai wo ye hai that the uh, listener uh, should be very comfortable jo bhi aapka listener hai ya jo bhi aapki audience hai they should be very comfortable to listen to you okay then only they will be able to understand what you want to say they will be able to understand uh, the communication whether it is verbal or non verbal communication and uh, uh, so you may have to start a conversation by welcoming visitors first of all you have to welcome them and when you don't know others at a meeting party or social gathering you may have to start a conversation तो अगर आप और किसको वहां जानते नहीं है तो क्या करेंगे आप सो देर आर सम स्टेप्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज ग्रीटिंग you can say good morning good evening or uh, good afternoon or hello simple hello introducing yourself you have to first introduce yourself i am for, for example uh, i am dr anuradha counselor in uh, indira gandhi national open university asking after the other person's well being and the third uh, step should be how are you 
the formals the formulas for uh, these are fixed and usually carry no literal uh, literal meaning we say good morning even if it is not a good morning and the answer for for how are you is fine thanks okay so good morning for example you may have a bad morning that day but you are attending a meeting uh, still aap kisi ko ye to nahi wish karogi na ki bad morning aapka uh, aap kuch uh, matlab sometimes it happens that, uh, that kuch bura ho jata hai kuch galat ho jata hai but still you cannot avoid the meeting still you will always say good morning and how are you always will be answered uh, in fine thanks even if you are not well even if you are not feeling well okay agar aap acha feel nahi kar rahe hain still the answer will be will always be fine kyunki jo aapke close relatives hain close relations hain only they have the right to know that whether you are well or you are not well so no one except your close friends really wants to know about your troubles these are routine uh, courtesies that are followed the expression you use will vary according to your relationship for example if you are uh, two types of uh, mm, settings are there always one is formal setting and the another is informal setting what is a formal setting formal setting is when you are in a uh, kind of office setting you can say okay and informal setting means when you are with your friends when you are with your relatives and when when you are with your uh, uh, the ones who know you well okay so informal introduction kaise hoti hai for example renu uh, have you met geeta geeta this is ahmed a friend of mine from the office to so, uh, simple aap unko introduce kar rahe ho renu ko have you met geeta geeta se mile hai aur geeta uh, this is ahmed ye mera friend hai ahmed uh from the office or gita simply uh, she says hello ahmed ahmed hello nice to meet you okay formal introduction kaise hoti hai mukti uh, mr parik may i introduce you to my husband subhash you ask you take a permission before introducing someone to other person okay aap poochte hai halaki it is just a you know a formal way of asking and at the same time you introduce that person jaise mr parik may i introduce you to my husband subhash ki kya main subhash mere husband se aapko introduce kara sakti hu aur tabhi subhash kyunki sath mein hai to aap bol dete hain subhash this is mr parik our manager so mr parik uh, will answer how do you do and subhash will uh, again ask how do you do uh, and sometimes uh, may i introduce uh, myself i am uh, anju sehgal from igno agar for example aapko khud ko introduce karana hai kisi aur ko nahi introduce karwana hai so simply you can ask may i introduce myself so uh, two things uh, should be very clear uh, jab bhi aapko exam mein question aayega formal introduction and informal introduction mein what is the difference so the difference will be uh, that in informal introduction you just introduce the person and in formal introduction you ask that whether i can introduce that person or not and just say i have an appointment to see the director mr ahuja uh, at 3:30 my name is sunil arora and i am from uh, price waters so uh, you can check your progress read the short pieces below and decide on the following for each dialogue where is the conversation uh, where is the conversation taking place what is their relationship so uh, these are uh, some of the things which you have to keep in your mind strangers friends family acquaintances colleagues neighbors underline the words expressions that tell you about their uh, relationship ramesh dikshit Uh, what a pleasure to see you mr sharma how are you keeping vikash sharma not bad how are you doing mr dikshit and then the second one is mitu good morning welcome to uh, ferguson college ma'am the seminar is in room number 16 down this co corridor third part krishna kumar mr uh, peter walsh how do you do i am krishna kumar a uh, personal officer welcome to bhel and peter walsh says thank you mr kumar how do you do it? then the fourth conversation is vikas sharma good morning anil ratan good morning vikram 
uh, I didn't see you in the class yesterday. Are you keeping well? And Vikrant Sharma, yes, sir. Thank you very much. So uh, you can easily judge ki ye kis, kis ke beech mein conversation ho rahi hai. And then Amrita Gill. Hi, I am Amrita Gill. We have just moved into this locality. RK, hi, I'm RK. And this is Anu. Anu is in the uh, is in the ninth at Springdale's and I'm in the uh, 12th at Father Angel. What about you? These are just the blocks uh, of a building. Students, good morning, ma'am. Teacher, good morning. It will be, um, it is well past 12 o'clock. Visitor, good morning, uh, good evening. I have an appointment with uh, David Lee. Reception, good morning. Could you sit down for a moment? I'll find out whether Mr. Lee is in visitor of, of course, I am Ajay Makeja from ICC. Kindly do this exercise whenever you get time or uh, uh, you just uh, need to answer some of the questions. The settings kya hai, formal hai, informal hai uh, or not just say informal uh, jo, uh, society locality ki hai, can uh, come under the category of informal okay okay now this is uh, an exercise uh, think of a comment starting a conversation is quite difficult with a stranger but for example aapko uh, kek alag alag situations me uh, how you will ask uh, if for example think of a comment you could make in the following situations it need not be more than a sentence or so sir of ek ya do sentences me hona chahiye one is sorry Okay, for example, the situation is you are waiting on a platform at the railway station. A foreigner who is also waiting says, it's a nice day, isn't it? What would you say? Okay, for example, you are waiting on a platform or a foreigner hai and he is, he is trying to start a conversation with you. Or wo aapko bolta hai, it's a nice day, isn't it? What would you say? Uh, what would you say? Definitely you will say, yes, it's a nice day. And then uh, you can uh, start the conversation uh, where you are going. Uh, so he can ask, uh, he can answer, I'm going to Banaras. And what about you? Okay. Next is you are traveling on the train to a conference in Jaipur. You notice that the man sitting opposite you is also traveling to Jaipur and probably staying at the same guest house as you and attending the same conference speak to him so uh, how you will ask aapko uh, aisa lagta hai probably ki aap conference mein ja rahe hain to jo dusra person hai wo bhi same conference mein ja rahe so you can ask uh, hello i am uh, mr kumar and i am going to are you uh, i am going to this conference are you going to the same venue or the same place and he may ask uh, he may answer yes i am going over there okay next is the presentation of one of the speakers at the conference was very interesting a presentation hui conference mein bahut interesting thi you want to tell her about it and you find yourself standing next to her during the tea break what would you say you ask uh, you may uh, simply say your uh, presentation was wonderful it was awestruck or you can say uh, it was quite interesting okay you sit down at the conference in dinner next to someone you don't know start a conversation so how you will start i am uh, mr kumar and uh, uh, it's a uh, nice day or something you can uh, uh, just simply say a sentence or two next you are at a movie th theater you recognize the man sitting in front of you but cannot remember where you met him speak to him so how you will start you will simply start i think that we have met earlier okay then reply to the different remarks in the sentence. Hello, how are you? 
so how you will answer uh, i'm fine what about you thanks uh, aditya for the chocolates or you can say my pleasure how do you do i am fine what about you whenever someone ask you know how are you uh, so simply don't say fine thank you always um, uh, throw a question again uh, i am fine thank you what about you how did the meeting go it went uh, well how is the business uh, it, it is well it is going good uh, or you can say it is not going bad should we stop for coffee uh, on the way home yes it will be my pleasure sunita uh, sends you her regards uh, okay convey my uh, uh, thanks to her right then i am off okay so you can practice these dialogues uh, with your friends now okay we have learned that how we should uh, start a conversation now let us practice how uh, to end a conversation okay uh you have to listen uh, to a conversation uh, but unfortunately we don't have that listening uh, part over here so we can answer these questions only after uh, audio clips okay let us do next okay here are some expressions which are important to note and practice in your daily life and uh, in uh, in that i need your participation uh, these are very common uh, dialogues and we have to match column a with column b you can unmute yourself and you can match for example oh hi so uh, what should be the uh, what should be the phrase we should take from the column b any one of you can answer i'm waiting for your responses if you uh, don't want to participate any first g a uh, yes g okay oh hi good morning mr dev how 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 do you do okay next keep quiet ma'am third hello dev uh no keep ma'am f ha uh, keep quiet hai to yahan pe um, silence related hai to so it will be f. like uh, yes very good would we all maintain a moment silence please next is hello dev मैम इसका होगा जी इसका होगा जी ना एक्चुअली ओ हाय इसका क्योंकि देखो साइन ऑफ इसका जो ओ हाय का है ये होगा गुड मॉर्निंग वट अ प्लेजेंट सरप्राइज गुड मॉर्निंग हेलो डेव गुड मॉर्निंग मिस्टर देव कुमार हाउ डू यू क्योंकि यहाँ पे देव ऑलरेडी है एंड वी डोंट हैव एनी अदर सेंटेंस एक्सेप्ट दिस वन ओके देन लकी फेलो हाँ गुड देन लकी फेलो Uh, then luck is uh, related so the answer will be matching col column uh, uh, sentence will be this is indeed a stroke of good luck okay then so long so long matlab bahut time ho gaya maybe they have not met or something like that गुड बाय देन का होगा गुड बाय नेक्स्ट है ना बाय देन तो उसका होगा गुड बाय ओके और सॉरी यार नेक्स्ट वन इज सॉरी यार राइट राइट ई क्योंकि सॉरी के साथ अपोलॉजी जो है वो कनेक्टेड है सो इट विल बी प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय अपोलॉजी सो वी हैव लेफ्ट विद वन सो लॉन्ग बताइए आई थिंक बी नहीं वो गुड लक के साथ है चलिए ओके नेक्स्ट मैम जो रह गया वो होगा कौन सा रह गया बताओ 
कोई भी रह गया इसमें ना चलो फिर हाँ गुड नाइट के साथ नहीं हम उसको लगा सकते हैं वो बाय के साथ गया गुड नाइट बाय देन गुड नाइट वो गुड बाय के साथ किया था चलिए नेक्स्ट क्लास मिक्स कर लेते हैं मैच द ईडियम्स एक्सप्रेशन यूज्ड इन द टू लिस्निंग टास्क लिस्टेड इन कॉलम ए लिस्निंग टास्क में किया था ये करना होगा ये बट वी डोंट हैव अगेन ऑडियो बट स्टिल वी कैन मैच सो दिस इज योर एक्सरसाइज नेक्स्ट इज फेयरवेल एंड गुड बाय हाउ यू uh you know what that farewells are as important as greetings as welcoming someone or it is one of the important part of a social interaction bo both in informal as well as formal settings so let us read the short dialogue below and decide on the following for each piece where is the conversation taking place again same hai ki conversation kahan hui what is their relationship kya relationship tha matlab formal tha informal tha were the strangers were the friends family acquaintances colleagues or neighbors then underline the words expression used in each case to a single that the conversation is coming to a uh, close parting a salutation used for example anju oh my gosh it's already 5 i would better rush mom will be wondering what happened to me so what is first answer is what is their relationship okay preeti we must get together again so what what can be the relationship kya relationship ho sakti hai yahan pe of course they are friends friends right second question kya hai inka uh, where is the uh, first uh, next question hai where is the conversation taking place uh, anju yes we must by now by anju take care so it may be it it is possible that it may be प्रीतिज होम ओके और इट मे बी आर रेस्टोरेंट दो दी आर नॉट क्लियर अबाउट दिस ओके नेक्स्ट इज अंडरलाइन द वर्ड्स एक्सप्रेशन यूज इन ईच केस टू आ टू सिंगल दैट द कन्वर्सेशन इज कमिंग टू क्लोज ठीक है सो वट इज अलोजिंग कमेंट बाय टेक केयर ओके सो वेन एवर यू बाय गुड से गुड बाय टू सम वन ऑलवेज से टेक केयर इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ वर्ड काइंड ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन विच हेल्प अदर टू ईज दम सेल्स एंड फील कम्फर्टेबल ओके नेक्स्ट इज मिस डिसूजा एक्सक्यूज मी मिस्टर वर्मा हेयर इज द रिपोर्ट यू वॉन्टेड सो वट कैन बी द रिलेशनशिप दे आर कलीग्स ओके बिकेज शी इज आस्किंग फॉर द रिपोर्ट एंड वट वट इज द प्लेस ऑफ कन्वर्सेशन Mr. Vama says, "Ah, yes, thank you, Miss uh, Dusi, uh, uh, Miss Disuza, Miss Disuza. Er, I was wondering, sir, if I could leave an hour earlier today. My son is rather ill and needs to be taken to the doctor. Uh, uh, Mr. Vama, oh, what's the matter with him? So the uh, definitely the setting of the uh, conversation is office. Okay." and uh, now the closing comment closing comment kya hai miss disuza uh, he has been running a temperature for the past few days and the doctor had asked for some tests to be done i have got to pick up the reports before five mr varma well all right do be uh, on time tomorrow there are some urgent letters to be typed miss disuza thank you sir i will good night mr varma so the closing comments are good night when we uh, we close a uh, conversation in a formal setting okay so we don't say take care we simply say good night uh, mr uh, verma good night uh, miss disuza exit samajh aayi aapko so next conversation dekhte hain mr martin well that is all for now shall we call it a day call it a day matlab we should uh, shall we end it All yes, most certainly, sir. So, sir, है तो definitely it's a office setting colleagues हैं. Nita, I don't think we can take more of this. Ashok, yes, sir, it is Friday night. We have friends and movies to catch up with. Mr. Mar Martin, that is fine by me. Goodbye then. Have a nice weekend, all you. You too, sir. Okay. So, what is the ending conversation here? Uh, good uh, ending phrase over here. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend. So. uh among the friends uh, um, among the colleagues who are of the same age and who share a good relationship also they can uh, say enjoy your weekend enjoy your holidays like that okay 
सो नेक्स्ट इज राकेश हेलो सुधा फैंसी बम्पिंग इन टू यू हेयर सुधा हाई राकेश नाइस टू सी यू वट आर यू डूइंग हेयर राकेश शॉपिंग बाइंग वेजिटेबल सो दे आर दे मे बी फ्रेंड्स और दे आर सेटिंग क्या है कन्वर्सेशन की इट इज आउटसाइड घर के ऑफिस के बाहर है सुधा कम टू सी माई ग्रैंड मदर सॉरी कांट वेट शील गेट एंशियस ड्रॉप इन एट माई प्लेस एट योर वर्क आई ट्राई सी यू बाय और ये फॉर्मल मे बी दे आर नॉट वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स और उनका सिंपल कन्वर्सेशन एंड होता है बाय से नेक्स्ट कन्वर्सेशन इज जिम थैंक्स फॉर द लवली इवनिंग लता इट वॉज अ नाइस गेट टूगेदर एंड द फूड वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली डिलीशियस लता आई एम ग्लैड यू इंजॉय इट योर सेल्फ डू ड्रॉप इन अगेन वेन यूवर यू हैव द टाइम Jim yes i will good night lata and thank you once again good night and take care so we can say these were the friends and uh, the, the the ending uh, phrase hai wo hai good night and take care so whenever we are with our family with, with our friends when we say goodbye to them always say take care and in official setting in formal setting you, there is no uh, need to say that next is maria Good evening. I am Manisha Karthi from uh, Net Challenge Bangalore. Are you Jack uh, Swinson from Toronto? Uh, Mike? No, I am Mike Watson from London. Maria. Oh, sorry about that. I have made a mistake. Good night, Mr. Watson. And uh, you simply say good night or goodbye. Okay. Let us do grammar now. Grammar. The simple present tense verb to be. Uh, जब टू बी वेन वी यूज द फ्रेज टू बी तो जो बी है उसको हम थ्री वर्ब्स में चेंज कर सकते हैं दैट इज इज एम एंड आर ओके नोटिस वर्ड्स इन बोल्ड दिस वन आई एम यू आर ही शी इट इज वी आर दे आर सिंपल रूल है ग्रामर का सिंपल प्रेजेंट का बहुत ही सिंपल रूल है कि अगर आपका वर्ब Uh, आपका जो सब्जेक्ट है वो सिंगुलर है तो आपकी वर्ब भी सिंगुलर होगी द सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट ऑलवेज टेक द सिंगुलर वर्ब एंड प्लूरल सब्जेक्ट ऑलवेज टेक द प्लूरल वर्ब ठीक है सब्जेक्ट सिंगुलर है तो वर्ब भी सिंगुलर होगी और अगर सब्जेक्ट प्लूरल है तो वर्ब भी प्लूरल होगी आई uh, के साथ वी ऑलवेज यूज एम एम ठीक है एम यूज करते हैं यू के साथ आर यूज किया जाता है ही शी इट तीनों सिंगुलर है इज यूज करेंगे वी और दे प्लूरल है तो हम आर यूज करेंगे ओके देन वी कैन यूज कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ठीक है कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इज वेन वी यूज दिस प्लूरल आई एम ठीक है शॉर्ट फॉर्म हम यूज करते हैं एम यू आर ही इज इट्स अंजूस वी आर दे आर लाइक दैट ओके इंजर्ट एम इज और आर ये बहुत ही सिंपल है विल बी एबल टू डू इट टूगेदर सो लेट एस डू इट ही डैश लेट इज एंड ही वेरी गुड वेरी गुड थैंक यू फॉर द पार्टिसिपेशन ही इज लेट इज एंड ही नेक्स्ट इज वी डैश वेरी वेल थैंक यू रितु एंड रोहित डैश इन कैनेडा आर आर सी हियर रितु इज सिंगुलर रोहित इज सिंगुलर बट दे आर टूगेदर एंड इज देयर ठीक है दैट्स वाई दे आर टू पीपल एंड दैट्स वाई विल यूज आर हियर रितु एंड रोहित आर इन कैनेडा अगर सिंपल रितु होता तो रितु इज इन कैनेडा रोहित इज इन कैनेडा नेक्स्ट इज आई डैश एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी टूडे आई एम आई थिंक यू डैश रियली बिजी टूडे You are okay. So write these sentences with contractions. We are यहाँ पे we के साथ ऊपर apostrophe लगा के r e लिखना है आपने ठीक है So you can write over here. We are all busy here. Contractions लिखना है Contractions जब भी आपको contractions लिखने के लिए आएंगे तो आपको uh, simple एक ऊपर apostrophe comma लगाना है और short form लिखनी है ठीक है M की म है M है इस की S है R की R e है समझ आई नेक्स्ट इज रीता इज हेयर टूडे तो रीता यहाँ पे कॉमा uh, लगा के एस लगा देना आई एम आई ए हटा देंगे कॉमा लगाएंगे एम लगाएंगे माय नेम इज कॉल यहाँ पे कॉमा लगा के एस द ट्रेन इज ले कॉमा लगा के एस रीड द पैसेज गिवन बिलो एंड अंडरलाइन द वर्ड्स इन इट ओके 
यहाँ पे ना ये वर्ब का इन्होंने नंबरिंग दी हुई है ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल देयर इज नंबर वन नो नीड टू एजुकेशन इट इज नंबर टू नॉट दैट यू रीड अ बुक पास एन एग्जामिनेशन एंड फिनिश विद एजुकेशन द होल ऑफ लाइफ फ्रॉम द मोमेंट यू आर नंबर थ्री बॉन्ड टू द मोमेंट यू डाय इज नंबर फोर आर प्रोसेस ऑफ लर्निंग सो यू विल नोटिस दैट द वर्ब रीड पास finish depict some action and are called action verbs on the other hand the verbs is and are depict states and not action they are called stative verbs pick the subject for which uh, these have been used uh, now uh, ye uh, choose kiya hua hai yahan pe theek hai is is are and is is and are the simple present form of stative verb take it two kinds of verbs hoti hain hamesha uh, one is action verb and the other is auxiliary verb ya bhi ya fir hum isko helping verb bhi bolte hain because they help us to know uh, what kind of sentence uh, tense is whether it is past present and future is and are has have they belong to present Uh, was were had to belong to past and will shall they belong to future okay uh, so is and are the simple present forms of stative verb in in ke simple form jo hai na stative verbs ki wo be hai other stative verbs are have like think hope etc isliye kai bar sometimes kya hota hai ki koi sentence hota hai aur usme dash mein be likha hota hai and you have to uh, fill the correct verb to wo तो आप सब्जेक्ट के अकॉर्डिंग देखेंगे कि इस भरना है उसमें इस फिल करना है कि आर फिल करना है ओके ओके नाउ यस मैम इसमें जो ऊपर वन टू थ्री फोर फिल अप से रखे इसमें अब क्या फिल करेंगे ये फिल ये कर, ये करना है ना बेटा इसमें देखो साथ में दिया हुआ है ना देयर ठीक है इट और ये आर से पहले यू और ये इससे पहले सब्जेक्ट okay, आपको पी सब्जेक्ट आपको चूज करना है जैसे फर्स्ट का देयर है सेकंड का इट है ठीक है थर्ड का द होल ऑफ द लाइफ फ्रॉम द मूवमेंट यू तो यू है इसका सब्जेक्ट और फोर्थ का बॉन्ड टू द मूवमेंट यू डाई ठीक है इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ लर्निंग सो डाय बॉन्ड टू द मूवमेंट द मूवमेंट की मूवमेंट इसका सब्जेक्ट है ठीक है ओके नेक्स्ट इज आई एम अवेयर ऑफ द रीड द पैसेज बिलो एंड नोटिस द सब्जेक्ट एंड देयर वर्ब आपको सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब को नोटिस करना है जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस आई एम अवेयर ऑफ द चेंज इन द एटीट्यूड ऑफ द यूथ टूडे सो वट इज द सब्जेक्ट ओवर हेयर आई ठीक है हाँ एंड वट इज द वर्ब ओवर हेयर एम एम नेक्स्ट इज दे आर more focused and are ready to put in a lot of hard work so they is subject and what is a verb over here are next is the job scenario so so uh, two is no longer the same so the job scenario is the subject and is here is verb okay next is many young women are now in positions that were considered मेल बेस्टन सो मैनी यंग वुमेन यहाँ पे सब्जेक्ट है और आर वर्ड है उसके लिए नेक्स्ट इज दिस इज वेरी इंकरेजिंग ट्रेंड्स सो दिस सब्जेक्ट है और इज जो है वर्ब है ऑन द अदर हैंड अनदर ट्रेंड इज प्रेवलेंट सो अनदर ऑन द अनदर हैंड अनदर ट्रेंड ये पूरा सब्जेक्ट है ठीक है और इज उसकी वर्ब है द यंग आर मोर फोकस्ड ऑन अर्निंग मनी द यंग सब्जेक्ट है आर इसकी वर्ब है एट आई एम ऑफ द ओपिनियन आई सब्जेक्ट है एम उसकी वर्ब है बट मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर सो मोस्ट ऑफ अस जो है इसमें वो सब्जेक्ट है सो सब्जेक्ट वर्ब कॉन्कर्ड कॉन्कर्ड होता है एग्रीमेंट ठीक है तो दिस इज वट वी हैव टोल्ड यू अरियर आई हैव टोल्ड यू अरियर डैट सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट विल ऑलवेज टेक द सिंगुलर वर्क एंड प्लूरल सब्जेक्ट विल ऑलवेज टेक द प्लूरल वर्क सो यू विल नोटिस दैट द सिंपल प्रेजेंट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्क बी डिफर अकॉर्डिंग टू द नंबर एंड पर्सन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट बी अगेन इज अटिव वर्क और बी जो है वो इज एम आर किसी में भी आप चेंज कर सकते हो ठीक है जैसे आई एम 
एम ये सिंगुलर वन पर्सन है यू सिंगुलर थ्री काइंड ऑफ पर्सन होते हैं फर्स्ट पर्सन सेकेंड पर्सन एंड थर्ड पर्सन ठीक है तो ये सिंगुलर सेकेंड पर्सन है ये सिंगुलर थर्ड पर्सन है ही शी सिंगुलर ऑब्जेक्ट है देन uh, दिस जो है वो सिंगुलर ऑब्जेक्ट है आइडिया और कॉन्सेप्ट इट कैन बी एनी थिंग दिस आर ये प्लूरल थर्ड पर्सन है uh, सब प्लूरल है और थर्ड uh, पर्सन में वी आर प्लूरल है और फर्स्ट पर्सन में सो सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एग्रीमेंट इज क्वाइट सिंपल दैट सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट विल ऑलवेज फॉलो द सिंगुलर वर्ब एंड द प्लूरल सब्जेक्ट विल ऑलवेज फॉलो द प्लूरल वर्ब इफ यू विल फॉलो दिस रूल आपका ग्रामर कभी रॉन्ग नहीं होगा वेन एवर यू राइट अ सेंटेंस वेन एवर यू राइट अ पेरेग्राफ सो ऑलवेज की थिंग दिस थिंग इन माइंड की सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट हमेशा सिंगुलर वर्ब को फॉलो करता है और प्लूरल सब्जेक्ट हमेशा प्लूरल वर्ब को फॉलो करता है सो लेट एस कंप्लीट दिस पैसेज बिलो यूजिंग द करेक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब बी ओके देयर डैश पीपल देयर के साथ क्या आएगा वर्ब आर हाँ वी बिकॉज वी आर डूइंग अभी सिंपल प्रेजेंट हम कर रहे हैं ना सो देयर आर पीपल ओके ओके आई हैव टू सी दिस हाँ या इट इज इन पास फॉर्म यस यू कैन चेंज इट इन टू पास ऑल्सो सो देर आर पीपल हु आस्क मी वेदर नेक्स्ट I was the same man that I was in 1920 or whether there has been any change in me. Next, you are fine. Work. You are right. You are right in asking that question. Let me, however, hasten to assure that. I'm the same Gandhi as I was in 1920. यहाँ पे भी M ही लगाएंगे. I'm the same man that I was because people are asking him. Okay. So यहाँ पे भी you can write there are there are people who ask me whether I'm the same man that I was in 1920 or whether there has been any change in me. Uh, you are right in asking that question. Let me, however, hasten to assure that I am the same Gandhi as I was in 1920. I am not changed changed in any fundamental respect. I attach the same importance to non-violence that I did then. If at all my emphasis on it has grown stronger, yes, there um, next there are. Uh, There is, okay. There na there के साथ is भी लगा सकते हैं आप are भी लगा सकते हैं. It will always depend on the sentence, ठीक है? जैसे इसका subject ना next आपने देखना है. जो next there का subject कभी there नहीं होता. इसका subject हमेशा next word होता है. So people था वहाँ पे that's why we have used are. और यहाँ पे no real contradiction is the subject, ठीक है? So ये इसलिए यहाँ पे is लगाएंगे. There is no real contradiction between the present resolution and my previous writings and utterances. I hope it is clear to you. Yes. Okay. Then, ah, uh, well, good. Next, select the correct alternatives. Hindustan Times dash the paper is aega is. R. Is. Is. Because Hindustan Times, so ah, it is the title of our paper. So, is we will use it. According to the news, each of the babies way I got ways. Way. Each of the babies है. जब each और every use किया जाता है, तब हमेशा जो आपका आपके verb होता है, वो singular होगा, ठीक है? So that's why we'll use ways. Ah, क्योंकि जैसे for example, if I say a simple sentence, uh, I eat, uh, he eat uh, eats mangoes. दे ईट मैंगूस फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो ही के साथ ईट ईट्स लगेगा और दे के साथ ईट लगेगा सिंपली क्योंकि यहाँ पे ईच है तो जब ईच वर्ड यूज कर रहे हैं तो हमेशा वर्ब सिंगुलर होगी दैट्स वाई वेज वी विल यूज अबाउट फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम्स एंड डैश डूइंग वेल इज डूइंग वेल ओके थ्री ऑफ देम थ्री ऑफ देम Is आएगा आर आएगा आर आर ओके ठीक है नंबर है तो नंबर के साथ हमेशा क्योंकि ऑलरेडी वन टू थ्री तीन हो गए तो हम आर लगाएंगे एवरी वन इन दीडियोट्रिक डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल इज आएगा आर आएगा और 
ईज आएगा ईच एंड ईच एंड एवरी मैंने बोला ना अगर आपका ईच एंड एवरी सब्जेक्ट है ना तो हमेशा सिंगुलर वर्ब आप उसके साथ यूज करेंगे एवरी वन इन दीडियट्रिक डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल इज सरप्राइज इज सरप्राइज नीडर ऑफ द पेरेंट्स हैज आएगा हैव आएगा नीदर जब हम ईदर और नीदर यूज करते हैं तो हम एक में मतलब अगर दो हैं तो ए, दो में से एक की बात कर रहे हैं तीन है तो तीन में से भी हम एक की बात कर रहे हैं ठीक है ईच ईच एक वन वन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट करके बात कर रहे हैं तो जब भी नीदर इधर आएगा उसके साथ भी हमेशा आपकी जो वर्ब आएगी वो सिंगुलर आएगी हालांकि जो नेक्स्ट वर्ड होता है वो प्लूरल है जैसे पेरेंट्स जो है वो प्लूरल है बट नीदर Uh, यहाँ पे आप नीदर के साथ हमेशा हैज लगाएंगे मतलब सिंगुलर वर्ड लगाएंगे ठीक है नीदर ऑफ द पेरेंट्स हैज एनी हिस्ट्री ऑफ क्वींस इन द फैमिली ओके नेक्स्ट इज ऑन द अदर हैंड ऑन द अदर हैंड द फादर इज अ वरिड मैन सिंस ही डजेंट अर्न मच फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज डैश अ वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ मनी इज आएगा आर इज इज ठीक है मनी इफ वन हैज टू फीड फोर बेबीज ही फील्स ही हैज टू ऑप्शन इधर हिज ब्रदर और हिज सिस्टर एडोप्ट आएगा ठीक है ई ए डी ओ पी टी एस सिंगुलर आपको इधर और नीदर में दो चीजें देखनी है आपको इधर और नीदर जो है ना अपने साथ वाला जो वर्ड होता है वो उसको सब्जेक्ट मानता है तो यहाँ पे सिस्टर जो है वो सिंगुलर है तो यहाँ पे एडोप्ट आ जाएगा नीदर इधर हिज ब्रदर और हिज सिस्टर एडोप्ट टू ऑफ द बेबीज और ही सीक्स द हेल्प ऑफ वुमन फॉर वुमन वुमन फॉर वुमन जो है ये एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का नाम बता रहे हैं इज अ नॉन गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट प्रोवाइड्स हेल्प टू नीडी फैमिलीज विद गर्ल्स आई होप ये सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एग्रीमेंट आपको समझ आ गया इसके ना कुछ छोटे छोटे से रूल्स हैं द सिंपल रूल इज कि जब भी सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट है तो सिंगुलर वर्ब आएगी प्लूरल सब्जेक्ट है तो प्लूरल वर्ब आएगी लेकिन अब आपको पता कैसे चलेगा कि सिंगुलर और प्लूरल है ही शी इट दे देम ये सब पता चल जाता है देअर्स जो है वो हमेशा नेक्स्ट जो वर्ड है उसको सब्जेक्ट मानते हैं तो उसके अकॉर्डिंग उसमें इज एम आर लगाएंगे अगर दो सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट हैं और एंड से जुड़ा हुआ है जैसे रोहित एंड रीता था ऊपर तो सिंगुलर दोनों क्योंकि अलग अलग हैं दैट्स व्हाई वील ऑलवेज टेक द प्लूरल वर्ब विद देम ठीक है इधर नीधर दे ऑलवेज टेक द वर्ड विच इज नियर टू द वर्ब जो मतलब उसको सब्जेक्ट मानते हैं ठीक है और अगर हम इधर और नीधर यूज कर रहे हैं तो हम एक मतलब दो हैं तो दो में से एक की बात कर रहे हैं दैट्स वाई वी ऑलवेज टेक सिंगुलर वर्ब बट फिर भी वो अपने साथ वाले सब्जेक्ट को कंसिडर करेगा सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द सिंपल रूल्स ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज प्रोनाउंसिएशन practice these greetings and introductions for example how are you very well thank you and you this uh, uh, is you can practice so let us sum sum up this unit has dealt with the importance of stating and ending conversation it is an aspect of etiquette and social grace that is increasingly important in the global world the reading passage on etiquette deal with its origin and details some rules we have not read it in detail uh, aap isko detail mein pad lena then you will be able to answer all the uh, questions okay so you can uh, also check your progress over here, from here uh, you can see from here okay okay so let us move to the next unit uh, social small talk uh, the objective of this unit is that we should always uh, try to make strangers comfortable so these are the um, statements uh, you can uh, answer it in yes or no according to you i never indulge in small talk it's a waste of time means you don't like to socialize you don't like to ice the bake or like that then uh, uh, reading passage is there 
so uh, as you are well aware there are two main reasons for reading reading for pleasure and reading for information we do uh, readings uh, because of two reasons either we uh, are into reading hame acha lagta hai reading kyunki hum writer hain the one who writes uh, very good he is always a good reader aur ya fir hum just sake of information koi magazine padhte hain newspaper padhte hain और सम दो दो द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ रीडिंग इज ऑलवेज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स इट इज टू इम्प्रूव योर वोकेबलरी सो देर आर टू डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ रीडिंग फॉर इंस्टेंस वेन वी क्विकली रन आर आईज ओवर अ टेक्स टू गेट द मेन आइडिया इन इट दिस इज नोन एज स्किमिंग ठीक है जब स्किमिंग मतलब हम जस्ट ऊपर ऊपर से उसको देख लेते हैं ज्यादा उसमें डीप में नहीं जाते हैं मीनिंग अगर समझ आ गया तो ठीक है नहीं तो हम लाइन का ही मीनिंग समझ के हम उसको अंडरस्टैंड कर लेते हैं वेन वी डांट आर आईज ओवर मच ऑफ अ टेक्स टू सर्च फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन डांट आर आईज मतलब कॉन्टिन्यूसली हम मतलब बड़े बढ़िया तरीके से हम उसको पढ़ रहे हैं तो इट इज नोन एज स्कैनिंग इन द शॉर्ट कन्वर्सेशन गिवन बिलो यू विल बोथ यूज द टेक्निक ऑफ स्किमिंग एंड स्कैनिंग सो दो रीडिंग की टेक्निक्स हैं यहाँ पे स्किमिंग स्किमिंग मीन्स ऊपर ऊपर से पढ़ना जस्ट और स्कैनिंग मीन्स वेरी डीपली वेन यू आर इंटरेस्टेड so uh, let us read the short pieces of conversation and decide on the following for each dialogue uh, where is the conversation taking place what is the approximate age of the interlocutors how is their relationship okay again hame yahi dekhna hai ki age kya hai conversation kis ke kahan pe ho rahi hai what is the topic of the conversation are they casual friendly or angry with each other for example vikram hello my name is vikram yadav i have uh, yadav i have an appointment jaya hello vikram i am jaya ayer we have spoken to each other a couple of times vikram oh yes of course glad to meet you so ye uh, formal conversation hai theek hai aur wo appointment hai vikram ki jaya ke sath jaya welcome uh, welcome to pravaha कम लेट मी शो यू अराउंड वुड यू केयर फॉर सम कॉफी और प्रभा इट इज मे बी काइंड ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक दैट थैंक यू इट्स अ वेरी काइंड ऑफ यू इट्स नाइस टू बी हियर सो यू कैन राइट योर आंसर्स ओवर हियर ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन सो वेयर इज द कन्वर्सेशन टेक प्लेस कन्वर्सेशन इज टेक इज टेकिंग प्लेस एट प्रभा वट इज द अप्रोक्सीमेट एज ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी मे How is their relationship? It's a formal relationship. They may be colleagues. What is the topic of conversation? Uh, topic of conversation is uh, that they have an appointment, or are they casual, friendly? They were. Uh, okay. Next is Miss uh, Goyal. Good evening, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Khan. You are uh, taking your evening walks rather seriously these days. Miss Khan, Namaste ji. Yes, I have started all right. Let us see how long it lasts. So it is a, uh, a casual conversation. No, it's not like simple. Simply they are asking that evening walk start. Did you? So another one is. Next, your four o'clock to be your class, na? मैं मैं सिर्फ तीन बजे का आ रखा है मैम टू टू फोर है कल के कल है वो आपकी ना मुझे टू टू फोर का स्लॉट मिला आज आई हाँ डेली क्लासेस लगेगी अब नो आई डोंट नो बट मुझे आज के लिए ही बोला ओनली फॉर वन डे इन अ वीक Okay, ma'am. So you want to continue? Yes. Okay. So uh, that was just a simple thing we, which we have already done in unit one. आप उसको उसमें से ही देखे you need to answer those questions. Okay. Let us do two point four vocabulary describing people. Ah, uh, how to describe people? For example, Rani. Uh, three things you can follow. Ah, uh, generally. Rani is a very smart and elegant woman, while her sister is sloppy and untidy. Sonal is a beautiful girl, and her brother is handsome too. They make a lovely pair. He is good looking, and she is attractive. So specific, uh, specific. क्या होता है? आप skin color, complexion, hair, face इनको uh, describe कर सकते हैं. Usually skin color dark होते हैं, fair होते हैं. It can be beautiful complexion, uh, sallow complexion, or it can be tanned as well. 
फेस जो है इधर इट कैन बी थिन राउंड चबी और रिंकल्स हेयर इट कैन बी लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट करली क्यू बॉल्ड और रिसीडिंग हाइट जो है वो टॉल शॉर्ट सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन विच वी यूज वाई वी डिस्क्राइब अदर पर्सन स्लिम ओबीज थिन फैट एक्सेट्रा ओके राइट द अपोजिट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्लिम वोमेन स्लिम का ऑपोजिट होता है ओबीस ठीक है सो यू कैन राइट ओबीस वुमेन शॉर्ट एंड चबी फेस शॉर्ट एंड चबी फेस की जगह आप कौन सा यूज कर सकते हो इसमें से थिम फेस्ड ठीक है चबी होता है जो मतलब बहुत गोल मटोल टाइप जिसको बोलते हैं बच्चों का होता है यूजुअली चबी फेस करली हेयर तो स्ट्रेट हेयर डार्क स्किन फेयर स्किन an obese person a slim person a well dressed man um, uh, not well dressed or ya fir aap bol sakte hain um, shabby theek hai a smart and elegant woman is the opposite you can uh, write normal common he is very good looking so he he is average looking a handsome man to so, iska opposite you can um uh, use whatever you are what uh, medium height it all like that okay so let us uh, do grammar questions grammar question what are grammar question they are basically two types of question open and close okay hamesha uh, mostly basically there are two types of questions open questions kaun se hote hain jinka answer jo hai wo it can be anything kuch bhi ho sakta hai और क्लोज क्वेश्चंस कौन से होते हैं द क्लोज क्वेश्चंस आर द वंस व्हिच हैव आंसर्स इन यस और नो द ओपन क्वेश्चंस आर दो दोस व्हिच कैन हैव मेनी आंसर्स फॉर एग्जांपल व्हाट्स दैट यू आर रीडिंग ओके तो कुछ भी आंसर इसका हो सकता है आई एम रीडिंग प्राइड एंड प्रेजुडिस आई एम रीडिंग प्रदीप खेड़ा आई एम रीडिंग ओलिवर ट्विस्ट और वटएवर जो भी आप पढ़ते हैं ठीक है वो दैट कैन इट मीन्स की इट इज एन ओपन क्वेश्चन ओके लेकिन अगर यही क्वेश्चन जो है दे मे स्टार्ट विद डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड्स लाइक हु वट विच वेन वेयर हाउ वाई होम एंड हु द नंबर ऑफ द पॉसिबल आंसर इज लिमिटेड इन द केस ऑफ क्लोज क्वेश्चन जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल मे आई सिट हियर ऑन द बेड तो इसका आंसर सिंपल होगा या तो यस में होगा या तो नो में ठीक है गो राइट अट यस और नो सिमिलरली टू तो जो क्वेश्चन इस तरह के होते हैं जैसे आर यू फीलिंग अनवेल तो या तो आप आंसर देंगे यस और या फिर नो सो दीज आर क्लोज क्वेश्चन यस और नो वाले जो आंसर क्वेश्चन होते हैं वी कॉल देम क्लोज क्वेश्चन और जिसका कोई भी आंसर हो सकता है इट कैन हैव मेनी आंसर सो इट विल बी एन ओपन क्वेश्चन सो फॉर डब्ल्यू एच क्वेश्चन पहले कौन से क्वेश्चन होते हैं डब्ल्यू एच वेन हुम विच से जो स्टार्ट होते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल हु आर यू गोइंग टू लंदन विथ विच एक्टर आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट हुज हाउस इज द पार्टी इन हुम हु डूड यू मेट येस्टडे वी यूज वॉट टू आस्क अबाउट थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वट आर यू प्लानिंग टू डू आफ्टर द एग्जाम्स what are those beautiful bottles for we use how to ask about the way something happens or is done then how is also used with adjectives to ask about the degrees of uh, a quality that someone or something possess with adjective to ask about size distance and age we use when to ask questions about time for example when do you plan to migrate to canada and we use why to ask for the reasons why did she leave the class so early Yes, no questions generally uh, वो helping verb से शुरू होते हैं For example, he is easy annoyed. Have you telephoned the doctor? So let us do this exercise. Match column A with the B. Shall I help with your baggage? So, hello, hello yes. Hello. मैं mystery के पास मुझे आ रखा है मेरे के ना सुबह तेरी की तीन बजे इस पर तीन बजे की मेरे पास आ रखा है. क्या बोल रहे हो बेटा? हिस्ट्री की क्लास है अच्छा तो शेल आई एंड नाउ सबकी आपके हिस्ट्री की क्लास है बट इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू एंड आई कैन एंड इसमें बी ए बी वन एटी वन मैम इसमें डाल रखा है अभी किसी और 
को ऐसा है कि हाँ इफ यू हैव द क्लास तो आप लीव कर लो बेटा फिर ठीक है मैम ओके थैंक यू क्लास खत्म हो ठीक है सो शेल वी कंटिन्यू नेक्स्ट इज शेल आई हेल्प विद योर बैगेज सो व्हाट कैन बी द आंसर यस प्लीज थैंक यू वेरी मच वे कैन आई बाय द कोर्स बुक सो यू कैन आंसर इन द कॉलेज बुक शॉप नियर द कैंटीन व्हाट्स योर नेम राजीव शर्मा वाई आर एंड यू गोइंग टू ऑन वेकेशन आई हैव टू मच वर्क टू कंप्लीट आर एंड यू हैप्पी विद योर जॉब no i'm quite bored really so these are the, some of the answers so let us do uh, ki in ki questions kya honge what do you think are the questions let's say for example ajmal andani so what what can be the question what is your name what's your name in canada so what can be the question where do you live okay i am an engineer what do you do about 25 so what's your age a brother and two sisters ha huh? to how many siblings you are no they don't are they going to um uh no they don't for example do they take coffee so answer can be yes or no so you can uh, uh, answer no they don't so do they co take coffee or whatever question you want to do se start karna bas aapko in a small flat is uh, in anvoila so where do you live again the same question no but i can speak a little german so uh, can you speak uh, french for example this can be the question i watch tv or go out with friends so what can be the question what do you do on weekends no i don't like dancing to so question kya hoga do you like dancing okay right short descriptions uh, you can uh, answer about yourself about your grandmother your mother your father and next is a uh, pronunciation contracted forms listen to the contracted forms for example she'll she'll i guys wait okay she'll see you in the 10 minutes she would uh, look better um, with short hair you are taking it very easy i haven't seen him uh, they would meet met before it isn't working we haven't uh, we have seen the film already and i can't hear anything so let us sum up in this unit you have been given some tips to improve your social skills and uh, by practicing you can uh, do more so you can also check your progress so let us do the unit 3 feelings okay so uh, so objective kya hai iska that you you enjoy uh, you comprehend the feelings okay aapko samajh aa jaye comprehend the understanding that you understand what can be the feelings uh, for example read the following lines i am happy i am sick i am good i am beautiful i am loser i am a winner i am dumb i am fine i am okay Uh, or I'm a gossip. Uh, I'm a neurotic. I'm bored. So, who are you? Which of these sentences describe you? Draw a circle around each sentence that expresses how you feel most of the time when you look at the responses in this line. Okay. So, your self-concept is a uh, belief system. So, let us uh, read a passage. Read this story by uh, Guy um, uh, and answer the questions. I am a simple man with simple taste. I was born in countryside and never left it. And so I love the earth, the fresh air, everything that grows, animals, and the wind and the sky. 
I am also very fond of hunting. Yet the sight of the wounded creatures of the blood in its fur or feathers on many hands on my hands affects my heart and almost makes it stop. That year, the cold weather got in suddenly towards the end of autumn, and I was invited by one of my cousins, Carl de Vendille, to go with him and shoot ducks on the marshes. We were to set out one day at daybreak, and were expected to get back at sunset. My cousin was a typical country gentleman, stout, red-faced, jolly, good-natured, and rather dull. He lived in a house, half farmhouse, half castle, situated in a charming valley. I arrived at my cousin's uh, in the evening. It was freezing cold, and we had an early dinner in the large room, whose walls and ceilings were covered with stuffed birds, uh, herons, owls, night nightjars, vultures, and falcons, and every kind of hunting weapon. Can you wait? My cousin said, I think there will be a very sharp forest. We had better turn in early tonight as we shall have a hard day tomorrow. At three o'clock, he woke up dressing quietly. I went downstairs and was given hot coffee and sandwiches. Then we had some brandy, put on uh, four co uh, fur coats and accompanied by the keeper and two dogs, plunger and pirate, we set out. We were soon on the edge of the marsh and took one of the little paths through the uh, rushes to the hunt. I went in, and as we had nearly an hour to wait before the words would awake, I rolled myself up in my rug to try and get warm. Carl ordered a fire, for I had begun to cough, and my cousin was anxious, but I should not catch a cold. But suddenly, a peculiar cry, a lost, wandering cry, passed over our heads, and the light from our fire showed us the wild birds, and suddenly it began to be night, and dawn shone in the valley. Put out the fire, said Khan. It's nearing daylight. And then we saw the splendid uh, sight of long lines of ducks rising from the marshes and beginning to fly away in perfect formations towards the horizon. There was a flash of light from uh, Khan's gun and a loud report. The two dogs ran forward. So uh, uh, from then, nearly every minute we shooting done. Okay. So uh, this is a long paragraph, okay? We have to answer some questions. In what way is the narrator simple man? The first question is that how you can say that the narrator is simple man? Because in the very first line he says, I am a simple man with simple taste and I was born in country yard, countryside. Countryside means he was born in a village and never left it. So I love the earth, the fresh air, everything that grows. So he has never left it, means he has never been to be city, to be in city. So I love usko earth, fresh air, everything that grows, jo, matlab, us pe hai, animals and the wind and the sky. Ye sab usko basand hai, hai? So uh, how would you say that narrator is a simple man? We can say that the narrator is a simple man because he loves simple uh, taste. Uh, he was born in countryside and he always uh, love the uh, earthly things. He always love the natural things which grow uh, in the earth. He has never le left for the city. So next question is, uh, how long uh, did they uh, wish to spend shooting ducks? कितने uh, कितना वो कि वो shooting ducks uh, spend करें? वो उसने uh, first paragraph में ही he said that uh, I am very uh, fond of hunting. Okay, so try to answer this.
हाउ लॉन्ग फॉर कितने टाइम के लिए उनको शूटिंग करनी थी एंड दे वॉन्टेड टू गो फॉर शूटिंग फॉर वन डे ठीक है एक दिन के लिए दे दे हैव थॉट दिस वट डू वी गेट टू नो अबाउट द नरेटर्स कजन फ्रॉम द पैराग्राफ फोर द नरेटर्स कजन इज अ टिपिकल जेंटल मैन टिपिकल कंट्री मैन स्टाउट रेड फेस पैराग्राफ फोर में बिल्कुल उसको एक्सप्लेन किया हुआ है विच वर्ड मीन्स डे ब्रेक डे ब्रेक होता है अर्ली मॉर्निंग ठीक है सो इन पैराग्राफ टेन पैराग्राफ टेन में डे ब्रेक का मतलब क्या है दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट so i think now uh, we should end the class because there are only two students so um, we'll do it tomorrow or in the next class okay block 2 so let, uh, shall we end the meeting